Neurosciences have at their disposal a new revolutionary technology which is of great usefulness for the diagnosis of illnesses and to verify irrefutably that the therapeutic decisions made have dual results in the diseased brain. Digital optical topography allows us to discern cerebral activity subsequent to suffering a cerebrovascular accident. What happens inside the head of a patient after suffering a craniocephalic traumatism? What is going through the mind of a psychiatric patient? Or what modifications does a healthy brain undergo when subjected to different emotional or somatosensory stimuli? As all this information is in our heads and the most important goal is knowing how to detect it and to decipher it, possessing the appropriate technology means improving the precision of the diagnosis. Other technologies have not been able to offer such precise information as that obtained by means of this powerful light beam which manages to penetrate inside the head as far as the cortex in order to discover the mysteries of cerebral hemodynamics. Technology and medicine have joined forces in an arduous task which offers excellent results. Hitachi and the USP Center of Medical Excellence have worked hand in hand in order to investigate the enormous possibilities of this high technology instrument. A machine capable of assessing cerebral activity. The physicians at USP have verified the value of the results provided by this revolutionary technical device, which allows us even to establish the pharmacological response of a diseased brain once the exact nature of its problems has been detected. This innovative digital technique is a contribution to science and doubtless a tool for supporting diagnosis and therapeutic monitoring in forefront medicine. The ETG 4000 is a tool which opens the gates of the future. The EDG4000 is a digital optical topography system which, by using light, which is close to infrared, is able to monitor the relative changes in the concentrations of oxy, deoxy and total hemoglobin in the cerebral cortex in response to a stimuli or to an induced mental task. And therefore, it's capable of visualizing the variations which occur in the blood volume and also the state of metabolism and of circulation in the brain. This is a leading, non-invasive, innovative technology with high time resolution capable of carrying out measurements on functional cerebral hemodynamics registered in real time and which enables the visualization of cerebral activity. The equipment is comprised of a powerful software which integrates and interprets the measurements and sends back numerical data which may be useful for carrying out statistical analysis or 2D or 3D graphs and topograms which detect the hemodynamic behavior of the brain in response to cortical activation. The system features two forms of data analysis. Ongoing analysis, continuous registering of the measurements obtained in real time, or integral analysis, the average of the hemodynamic response obtained during the examination. In order to obtain these data, the system features different opto-assemblies and lightemeter and receiver assemblies connected to the system by means of optic fiber. The optical topography system uses light which is close to infrared, which easily penetrates the tissues of the human body in order to measure the changes in the concentration of hemoglobin and the variations in the total blood volume in the cerebral cortex. When a specific area of the brain is activated, the local blood volume in that area changes rapidly. This change can be measured by the system by monitoring the levels of the three types of hemoglobin, oxy, deoxy and total, during the performance of an action or task which implicates neural work. As oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin behave differently when absorbing light, by using two different wavelengths the variations in the concentrations of both are obtained. This technique enables us to study cerebral hemodynamics. When an area of the cortex is activated, the metabolic expenditure brings about a consumption of oxygen. This, in turn, brings about a hemodynamic response which, under normal conditions, entails an increase in oxyhemoglobin and a drop in the oxyhemoglobin as a consequence of a wash effect. In this way, 
the system provides us with real-time measurements of cell reactivity. The application of samples enables us to make a complete assessment of hemodynamics and cerebral oxygenation in patients with a neuropsychiatric disorder of some kind or in healthy subjects for preventive purposes. In the clinical field, this technique is currently being used in the diagnosis of psychiatric and neurological disorders and in functional assessments of the brain prior to surgery. Its efficacy has been proved in the diagnosis and monitoring of the following depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, psychosis. At Eurispis, new fields of exploration have been opened up in the area of clinical neurosciences. ETG 4000 is used as a complementary test for the diagnosis of neurological diseases such as dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson, vascular dementia, mixed dementia, etc., cephalalgia, craniencephalic traumatisms, CVAs, cerebrovascular insufficiencies, tumors. The organization has also verified its efficacy in the optimization of the treatment supplied. Digital optical topography is also used in basic research studies in fields of neurosciences and of education. The majority of its clinical use is currently to be found in Japan and at Eurospace Biomedical Research Center in Spain. In the field of research and in university environments, it's found in Germany, in Italy and in Japan. Currently, Eurospace is carrying out a characterization of the cerebral hemodynamics of all its patients. The result of this scientific work has been the study name Optical Topography System Evaluation Program in patients with central nervous system disorders. The following conclusions were drawn from this investigation. The existence of a great individual topographic variability. That topography is pathology specific and that it is genotype specific. Notably, a close relationship with the APOE gene has been confirmed. The 4-4 genotype displays the worst topographic response. Among the most specialized applications, the following are detailed. 1. Pharmacological monitoring of the therapeutic response, which enables us to assess the changes which take place in cerebral hemodynamics and oxygenation in a patient subjected to the application of a drug or of a particular therapeutic agent, such as oxygen. This enables an assessment of the action of the medicament and the monitoring of the status of the patient over time. 2. Experimentation with a specific foodstuffs such as cocoa, coffee, etc., which makes possible the assessment of the changes induced in cerebral hemodynamics, changes caused by the consumption of specific foodstuffs with potential neuromodulatory activity. 3. It may represent a possible alternative to the execution of electrically evoked potentials, as it enables us to register the cerebral hemodynamic response evoked by a stimulus. As an example of the performance of the ETG 4000, we present this case study of therapeutic monitoring. A regular patient of Eurospis is subjected to a routine checkup. The occipital cortex is studied. The register establishes that his cerebral functions are normal. Sometime later, this patient is subjected to an emergency accident surgery. Subsequent to this operation, he undergoes another checkup at Eurospis. He is stimulated with a flash type visual signal. During the test, it's observed that subsequent to the accident surgery, he displays a status of cognitive impairment and anemia. Therefore, by means of digital optical topography, it is concluded that his cerebral activation evokes an abnormal hemodynamic response, characterized by a drop in the concentration of the oxyhemoglobin, which indicates inadequate oxygenation of this area of the brain. Immediately after this examination, it's decided to perform another, and oxygenotherapy is applied in order to establish what changes occur during the test, using our ETG 4000 equipment once again. With the oxygen provided, it's observed that the hemodynamic response is normal and his cerebral oxygenation improves. When we throw in the oxygenotherapy, it's substantiated that the hemodynamic function once again becomes abnormal and the oxygenation inadequate. The patient undergoes treatment for one month. On completion of this period, 
Another checkup is carried out at the Eurospace Medical Center. The test is repeated using a flash type stimulating signal. The data now show that a consequent cortical activation brings about an increase in the concentration of oxyhemoglobin, which in this topogram is shown by the red color gradient, in accordance with a normal hemodynamic response in which the blood flow increases in the area stimulated. Once the visual stimulus is completed, the hemodynamic parameters revert to their pre-stimulation period levels, which may now be seen on screen in a blue color gradient. It's thus established that the treatment has been effective and that the patient has recovered his normal brain functions as before the accident surgery. This system provides the following advantages. It enables measurement of cerebral oxygenation in a simple way. It has no contraindications. It's a non-invasive technique which does not emit any kind of ionizing radiation. It allows mobility of the patient in comfortable, pleasant surroundings. It's less costly and offers useful information, which is alternative to other functional techniques. It enables the execution of measurements with a high time resolution, of as little as tenths of a second. The importance of the results obtained thanks to this pioneering, innovative diagnostic technique makes this topography system a most useful tool for a more in-depth analysis of the brain. ETG 4000 keeps us in constant contact with the brain.